So it's not only about selecting the right product to sell on Amazon, but it's also making sure that the category you're selling in is something that is ungated. Now, when it comes to categories on, on Amazon, there's two different categories of categories, right? There is the ungated categories, which are categories that you could simply go and list the product and start selling immediately. And then there are the gated categories. And those are categories that need some specific approvals and need some type of you know documentations in order for you to sell, but you can still definitely sell and there are a lot of great products. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys a list of ungated categories that you can sell on immediately. And then a couple of gated categories that you can go on and sell in and find good products, but obviously you need to jump through some hoops. Now, if this is your very first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're returning, welcome. Drop your questions below this video because we would love to see what questions you have and also what other content you'd like to see from this channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen with you guys um, here in just a moment. And I'm going to show you guys the list of categories that we personally like to sell in the ungated and the gated as well. But before I do that, what I want to do is I just want to explain to you kind of the difference between the two categories of categories, right? So the first one is the ungated. And this is simply categories that are vanilla categories where you could just simply find a product, list the product, sell it, right? And this is going to be your, you know, your home and kitchen stuff, your kitchen dining stuff, your office products, simply anything, you know, a pen, uh, uh, a notebook, that kind of stuff, right? You could sell this kind of stuff. It doesn't have any hazardous material. Um, you know, people are not eating it, right? Um, so they can't get poisoned. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of cut and dry, right? You're going to sell a product, a customer is going to buy it, and then they're going to use it at home or whatever. And that's that. And usually those categories, you know, there's a, a bigger list of those categories. Um, and then you can find many products that are good to sell in. Now, the other set of, of categories is the gated categories. And those are things like, again, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Say the scandal. If I wanted to sell the scandal, I probably am going to need to put in a category where um, I'm assuming it'll probably go under uh, craft um, uh, or customized uh, products. And then that is a gated category. For instance, if I want to sell this phone, right? If I want to sell this phone, I am going to definitely, it's going to be a gated category because it's uh, phone accessories. Uh, well, not accessories, actually, electronics. And because it carries batteries and, and other harmful, um, you know, other harmful, uh, um, I guess, subjects or, or, or material, um, it needs to be, you know, certain certifications need to be applied to Amazon and so on. So let's go ahead and share my screen right here and then show you guys just kind of the, you know, the different categories here and the, the difference between the two, right? So as you can see, the very first one, and this is going to be the, the longer, you know, the bigger list, and that's the, you know, the ungated category. So this is anything like baby products, health and household, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen dining, office products, pet supplies, sports and others. So let me just kind of give you guys like an example of each one of, you know, a product for each one of those. So this is going to be, I mean, your baby stuff, right? So it'll be like a, I don't know, diapers, right? So this is going to be a product, right? Um, health and household. This is going to be, let's see. I sometimes get confused in health and household. Okay, so this is a product that I wanted to show you guys, but let's just go to Amazon real quick. And then let's go to health and household. Let's see. So as you can see here, um, you know, things like, um, you know, things like, like protein bars could be health and household medicine, certain types of medicine could be, you know, health and household. Um, but then also things like, look at this, like, you know, uh, gums and this kind of stuff. Now, you know, these, you know, floss, these are not good products that you should be selling on Amazon. But as you can see, all these kinds of things, you know, like uh, uh, detergents and all that, this could kind of fall under health and household, but the category has really good uh, products, right? So let's just kind of um, put right here, uh, something like toilet paper. Not a good product, but you know. Uh, home and kitchen, this is anything that you use in, in a kitchen, right? So spatulas, I'm probably going to butcher this. Okay, there we go, spatulas. 
Industrial and scientific. Um, this is going to be, let's see. So this is going to be, things actually fall under, um, you know, the category of industrial and scientific. So you have all this kind of stuff. And, and oftentimes you, you know, you find some really good products in this category. Uh, things like, um, you know, things that dentists use or things that like even doctors use. Uh, we've, you know, we've been able to sell in the past and we've actually done really well with them. So as you can see, all kinds of products that uh, you could, uh, um, you know, you could um, find in this category, right? So we can go here and put just like, uh, I don't know, dentist supplies or something like that, right? All right. And then kitchen and dining. Again, this is a little similar to this. Um, so it could be, you know, uh, kind of some similar office products. This could be like a pen, right? Or anything that you can find in office. So let's just say pens, pet supplies. This could be like a, uh, you know, one thing that I used to sell in the past was a grooming, um, grooming glove, right? Uh, sports and outdoors. I mean, this is massive. This could be something like a, uh, I don't know, football, right? But this is a, a massive, uh, massive category, right? So those are like your vanilla categories that you could literally find products in and then just start selling. And, uh, um, you know, you could, what do you do is like for us, we use uh, tools like Helium 10 where we uh, set the categories that we want to sell in. Obviously, you select the market that you're trying to sell in. And then we set the category that we want to find products under, right? And then from there, you could even set like the size, you want it to be small, large, whatever, you could do all that. And then you set your criteria. Now, I'm not gonna go into the criteria, but I have other videos in the channel where we go into and break down our product research criteria and exactly how we can find products. Uh, so that's the very first one, right? And again, most of the products in this category do not need any type of approvals. It's just, they're just products that you just find and you um, can buy from your supplier, ship to Amazon directly and start selling, no problem, right? Now you've got other categories um, that we like to sell in that we have sold in. Um, and, and one of them is toys and games and the other one is beauty. Now, this is a product that we used to sell in the past, uh, a, a beard kit, and it's a huge brand that we've had, but uh, we recently sold it. And um, it's, a, it's, a huge, it's a huge niche, right? Uh, and you could do very well with beauty. I mean, there are so many different products. I know I've seen this other product, which is called uh, magnetic, uh, magnetic eyelashes. I know for a while this did very well and a few of our students did very well, but recently got a little competitive, right? So there are so many different things that you could sell in. I know something like, I think last year or the year before we sold this product. And we bundled it with like some some um, some other stuff as well, and it did very well. And this is all beauty, right? So in this category, you could find some really great products, but oftentimes um, the product that you're trying to sell, although like something like scrunchies, it's like well, you know, there's no hazardous material. Like, well, what do I need to approval for? You know, um, oh, this is a good one. This was actually a few years ago, and this was a product that I sold: derma roller. So this was a product that I, no, that's not how you sell it. It's, it's double L, but this was a product that became really hot about three years ago. Um, I sold it for about eight, nine months. I grew it to, I think I want to say 25, 30,000 a month. And then I actually ended up selling the whole brand, I had two or three products. So, you know, uh, this product, I know it took me a long time until I actually got it approved with Amazon because they were classifying it as a medical device, which was a beauty product. But even as a beauty product, I still, what's happening right now? I still needed to um, get approvals. Uh, okay, let's try it again. I was still trying to, you know, get it approved just simply because, okay, this is going crazy. Let's just close it and let's do it here. There we go. And uh, so I, you know, until I found, uh, um, until I actually got it to sell on Amazon, it was, I mean, it was, it was a lot of work, right? So again, this is, um, you know, just one product that I know a lot of people do very well. And again, one product, I scaled it to about twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars a month, which is amazing, right? Uh, and, uh, and the whole brand, I think, was doing about 35, 40,000. We had three or four different products 
um, that we're selling. But, you know, you could see some sellers, and, and I know I recently, about four or five months ago, I looked at this product and I had some sellers who were doing, you know, I don't know, 50, 60, $70,000 a month. So this is a, a product that's very, very viable. Again, now trying to get into it is going to be a little bit of a hassle. My computer's acting crazy and it doesn't want to come up. I wanted to show you guys uh, some of these sellers and how much they're making. Only if my computer could actually work. That'd be awesome. All right, let's try it one more time and then see hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, too bad. Sorry about that. All right, moving on. Cool. Okay, so um, so this is, you know, this is beauty. Uh, now you've got something like Toys and Games. This is another great category. Now, one thing you have to be careful is that Toys and Games, not only is it restricted, but in Q4, Amazon will not allow you to sell and list anything in Q4, which is October, November, December, because a lot of people obviously are buying toys for Christmas and all that stuff. And what happened, I remember this was, this was actually not a gated category when I first started selling in 2015. I think got gated around 2017, 2018, because what was happening is a lot of uh, like overseas sellers were just listing a bunch of products, shitty quality, and just trying to sell and they didn't care, especially in this toys and games category just simply because they, um, you know, their thing was, they know a lot of people are gonna be buying a bunch of toys and then they just simply did not care. And then they just wanted to sell a whole bunch of products. So look, if you are enjoying this video so far, I have a couple of things that I wanna share with you, but do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and then smash the thumbs up button because it helps the videos, uh, 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 you know, rank in the algorithm. And then also, if you want to learn directly from BJK University, if you're like, you know, Bashar, this sounds amazing. I want to sell on Amazon, but I want to make sure that I select the right product, select the right category in case if I do fall under, you know, a category that is restricted. Well, how do I go about getting unrestricted? How do I do all that? Because trust me, there are some amazing products that you can sell that, uh, that are unrestricted pro uh, categories. And then you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't stay away from them. Below this video, it'll take you to, there's a link that'll take you to a small presentation where we walk you through exactly what BJK University is about, how we can teach you and how we can walk you through the entire process. So be sure to check out that link. Now, one thing that I wanna to talk to you guys is about the um, gated categories. Now I've seen, you know, I've seen some uh, students and I've seen some colleagues sell products in um, like in, in, um, in food, you know, food categories uh, like gourmet food, you know, uh, pre-packaged uh, pre foods. Um, also in like the beauty category. It all depends on the product itself and what really, it, you know, what it is categorized. Again, if it's, it, well, what kind of certification is it going to need, right? So there is, um, there are different certifications that you are going to need, right? So it's very important that you understand what kind of category that you are going to go into before you start selling on Amazon. Again, the list that I showed you earlier, if you did not take a screenshot of it, you should right now. Go ahead and take a screenshot of them and leave it on the screen for the next five seconds here. Um, so that way, you know, if you are trying to sell on Amazon and you're not going to have BJK University walk you through, at least you have this information available for you, right? So outside of that, uh, you, what you want to do is when you're contacting suppliers, when you are going to find, let's say you're doing your research and then you found a product in a category that is not, or that is gated, right? What you want to do is when you're contacting your suppliers, you want to make sure that you ask them, hey, do you have... A, a, you know, like, have you had, stu you know, have you had sellers have issues with these products before? Number one. Number two, um, you know, what are the issues and what, um, you know, what certifications were required from those sellers? And then do you have those certifications? And then oftentimes what happens is, and sometimes I don't even know, like, say, you know, when I first started selling in the beauty category, I didn't even know that it was restricted, first of all. Second of all, when I did find out that, that it was restricted, I didn't know what kind of uh, certification Amazon was going to require because I didn't know how to find out at the time. So what I did is just talking to suppliers, and that's why it's very important for you to communicate and contact 5, 10, 15, 20 suppliers, and then ask questions. Don't be intimidated. They, you know, feel... You know, like you got to understand that they want, they need a, they need partners, right? And they are your partner. Understand that they are on your team. They're not on the other team, on the, you know, on the opposing team, right? So ask questions. And because I asked so many questions, I started finding out, okay, this product needs, 
needs certifications. And then I started taking some information from the supplier, some information from the supplier, some information from the supplier. And then I started asking more educated questions. And I start, started sounding smarter, which in, in return, these suppliers uh, respected me more and then they gave me better answers. Oftentimes what happens is it's not about the, it's not about the information that we, the source of information that's bad, it's the question that we're asking is bad, right? So the more specific the questions you ask, the better the questions you ask. And I'm not just talking about Amazon here and certification and gated categories. I'm just talking about everything in life. The more specific your questions ask, like oftentimes we get on weekly webinars. And then the very first thing that I say before I let students ask their questions is, hey, look, we don't need, um, you know, we don't need background story. Get directly to the, to the question. Um, love them or hate them. About six months ago, I watched an interview with Donald Trump. Well, not with Donald Trump, but I guess his staff or something like that. They were doing a documentary about him. And um, one of his staff was like, you know, one thing I loved about Donald, and at the time, I, it, see, you know, it sounded like it was just, you know, like he sounded rude. But he used to always say, before you come up to him to ask him something or talk to him, he goes, start from the end. And he's like, in the beginning, I didn't understand. It's like, I would start talking. It's like, stop, start from the end. And then I'll start talking. He'd be like, stop, start from the end. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about, man? And it's like, start from the end. Because oftentimes you've noticed, you probably have noticed this, is we go about asking a question and we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And then we ask a question. We feel like we need to give context about what we are trying to say. And oftentimes I've realized 99.9% .9 of the times, it really doesn't matter. The other person doesn't give a shit. The other person is only interested in answering a question. And then the longer it takes for you to ask her a question, the less interested they become in listening to you. And then after a while, they will stop hearing you. They will stop listening to you. So you want to get to your question as quickly as possible. So again, this is a tip for anything in life. But especially when it comes to suppliers, especially because they are overseas, many of them are in China, there's going to be that language barrier. So you want to make sure that you are keeping things short, keeping things very specific, because oftentimes a lot of these people take whatever you're telling them and then they put it in Google, Google translation. So if you're just going to go on this like transient of like paragraph so you can ask a question, you're not going to get what you're asking for, right? So be very specific about your questions, contact multiple suppliers, figure out what's going on, and then make sure that the supplier that you're talking to has the right uh, certifications. And do understand oftentimes those that do have the certification, usually their prices are higher than anybody else. Now, hope this video found you well. If you found value in this video, please smash the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber because we drop brand new content every single week. Also, if you want to learn directly from BJK University, there's a link below this video that'll walk you through the entire process. And be sure to drop your questions in the comments and also what more you'd like to see from our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.